Oh yeah, we're back at the Boysenberry Festival for more foods, check out some merchandise, and some games. It's showtime! I say we kick this video off here in Fiesta Village. First food establishment we're gonna stop at today is here at Casa California. And we're here to snag the boysenberry chicken tinga nachos with boysenberry salsa and sour cream. Say hello to the boysenberry chicken tinga nachos. This thing is stacked. Can we appreciate the presentation on these nachos? I was a little nervous while I was ordering the nachos, but you see as a clip before, it does not show a dining plan symbol next to the Tinga nachos, but just to let you guys know, it is available on all three of the dining plans. All three of us are gonna dig in on these nachos and see what it's all about. This dish is solid, bro. There are so many flavors going on in here. I will say the tortilla chips remind me of like a classic El Torito chip. Remember those guys? Go ahead, comment down below El Torito if you're that old. The chicken tinga is really nice. A lot of spices, a lot of flavors going on there, and it's very tender. Now the boysenberry salsa is a 50-50. It's sweet and it is also spicy. And what I like is the boysenberry sour cream. Now be careful, if you do not like spice, this might not be your cup of tea. I really enjoy these chicken tinga nachos. It's very well balanced between the sweet and the spicy. This is easily gonna get a seven out of 10 from me, and I can recommend you checking this out because this is gonna be another one of my go-to items here at the Boysenberry Festival. I think I have like one, two, I have like, I have like a handful of go-to items this season. My review was the boysenberry was sweet and spicy and the chicken was great and I give it a six out of 10. My review on the tinga nachos are, is that it's really good. You get a hint of sweet, but also spice and all the flavor just bursts together and it's like really, really good. The chicken is savory and like you get that boysenberry taste with it. So for the tinga nachos, I would give it an eight out of 10. That was a great way to start the video. Now let's go to the next food. Second stop of the day is gonna be here at Papas Mexicana. And here on the dining plan, you'll be able to grab the boysenberry chicken mole fries. If you don't have the dining plan, it's gonna cost you $14. Here's the second food of the day, and this is the chicken mole, and it looks pretty good, folks. But uh, I have something to confess. This is my first time, and the kid's first time, ever trying mole. And I'm 41. This is my first time ever trying mole. The mole fries were pretty solid, man. Now the chicken itself was nice and tender. Uh, the seasoning on the chicken was very light, but you did get some spices and herbs to the chicken. The cilantro really came through. And I mean, the french fries are french fries, but I did like this dish. Folks, we have another hit on our hands. I enjoyed the mole fries, and this is easily gonna get a six out of 10. And this is gonna be another item that I will be getting again at this year's Boysenberry Festival. This one is my favorite one from the Boysenberry Festival. It's sweet, it's great, and I give a seven out to Sophia and Dad, I'm taking this away. Hey, get back here. This was really good. The fries, they were really soft. The chicken mole, it was sweet, but it also had a nice chewiness to it. And the cilantro, it gave off a really good flavor to the chicken mole. Now for this, I will give it an eight out of 10. So we open up this video with some two good foods. 
But what do you guys think? You guys think we should take a break and play a game? Yeah. How about you guys take me on in an air hockey challenge where I'm the goalie and you guys are the attacker. If you guys score on me, I'll give you guys a surprise. Are you ready? You guys have three shots to make a goal on me here and air at back. That's one shot. And two, and three. Brody, Brody's turn. That's one. That's two, and here's three. Oh. Good job, guys, good job. Give you guys credit, but your dad's a beast. You guys thought you were gonna take get a goal on me? No way. We have a penalty on the ice on average dad for unsportsmanlike conduct, overly bragging, and bullying. But uh, I'm going to give you a consolation prize. Here's a $20 uh, game card. Let's play some games. video games where we exit the arcades and we're gonna go right behind us to Cordy's Corner and check out some of the boysenberry merchandise that they have this year let's get inside so right off the back as you enter I do see a boysenberry lanyard they have a bunch of boysenberry keychains they got a boysenberry necklace. They got this cool little hat. I like hats like this, but personally me, I don't think I can pull one of these hats off myself. But right back over here, here's Brody. What oh, they got some Knott's Berry Best patches. They got some ornaments too. They got a boysenberry shot glass. Oh, this is new. Look what they got this year, guys. They got a mini building blocks. They got the berry stand. But when they say mini, they really do mean mini. There's 739 pieces up in here. We got a Knott's uh, cup. We got this retro cup right over here. Look, for $14.99, you can get this nice little boysenberry pie purse. They got a bigger purse up here for $39.99. Actually, I think this might be a backpack. But right over here, look what the kids found. They found the meat of it. Oh, now this is kind of like a Stanley Cup, I guess, but it's not quite a Stanley Cup, but it's still cool. Cup is a cup. They got this Starbucks kind of cup here. Like I said, a cup is a cup. They got a nice boysenberry purse. They have a see-through one. Oh, what is this? So this is an extra soft machine washable angel fleece blanket. As you can see on top of here, you can see the Knott's Berry Farm Boysenberry insignia. They have this Boysenberry cup that's cool, just as a boys, but they got a, an umbrella. And this is going to be the spirit jersey this year. You can see the back is pretty cool. And on the side of the sleeves, they have this too. Now behind us is some more shirts for $69.99. I believe this is the spirit jersey that we just did see, but this is going to be the front side of it. And here is the boysenberry shirt. It's the berry best day ever. And you can grab this for $24.99. Now, this is probably one of my favorite shirts this year. Look, not Berry Farm, a pie eating contest shirt. They have it for the adults and they have it for the kids. The kids is gonna be $22.99, while the adults is gonna be $26.99. So about a $4 difference. 
And right behind me is a one more bite uh, sweater for the girls. And this is going to be $44.99. Directly behind me is this boysenberry sweater. That's really cool. It has that kind of like that machine wash where you put a little bleach in it. You grab that for $51.99. Now, I know my mom would love something like this. It's kind of like a cardigan, I guess. It's a box craft. 1985 style. Has a zipper up in here. How much is this one? Now, this is $100. But, I mean, bro, I can feel it. This is quality right here. Now, to the right of that is this nice shirt for the ladies right here that you can get for $29.99. Now to the right of that, this is where this year's Boysenberry Festival gear is going to be. This is this year's Boysenberry sweater that you can get for $44.99. And look, they got the cute little Boysenberry here. And I am digging the Knott's Berry Farm hat that you can get for $24.99. They have shorts that you can get that are for, you know, for sleepwear. They also have these pants that are for sleepwear. See, they even have these shorts here. They got this, oh look, like an old school, timey, uh, like all American tattoo style on that shirt. Let's check out the back. Yeah, dude, I'm loving it. I'm loving that old school American Kana style tattoo style uh, art on this shirt. And you're right, my mom would like this too. And you know what, my auntie Deborah, this is the kind of sweater she wears. These are Knott's Berry Farm ones. Let's see if there's anything on the back of this. So no, this one's more of a, a plain Jane one. And on the right for $24.99, you get this boysenberry pie one. See if there's anything on the back of this one. Nope. But the, the quality of the shirt is nice. Check out what Sophia found. A one more bite throw blanket that you can snag here for $44.99. Boysenberry sleep shoes attire. Yes, please. I would love these, dude. I love them. But uh, there's no price tags on this. Now, this is not Boysenberry related, but I really do like this Turvis water mug here. It has that sticker style that people put on. You can grab this for $34.99. I wouldn't mind bringing that to work, put some water in it. Might have to grab that. And this is a great boysenberry gift idea for a loved one. It's a boysenberry love pearl. Love takes time to grow, just like this unique pearl. Experience the thrill of opening one of nature's perfect gifts. Enjoy the beauty of the surprise within, dude. Gentlemen, gentlemen, if you have a lady and you bring her to the boysenberry festival, gentlemen, buy this for your lady, dude. She will really appreciate it. Forever memories. Forever memories. After playing some games and checking out the merchandise at Cordy's Corner, let's pick back up on the foods. And we're here at Prop Shop Pizzeria. And here at Prop Shop Pizzeria, you're going to be able to grab the boysenberry sausage and hot honey with ricotta and basil. They got a Capri stuffed portobello, but we're going to snag the boysenberry layered no bake cheesecake in a cup. So, unfortunately, Prop Shop Pizzeria did not have the no bake cheesecake. Yesterday, they didn't have the no-bake cheesecake at Goldmeyer's Trail, so that must be a hot item at this year's Boysenberry Festival. So instead of that, we want to go ahead and get the hot honey sausage pizza with ricotta cheese. That's Berry Farms known for their weird pizza concoctions, and this pizza concoction isn't looking that bad. Now, we do have a big glob of the ricotta in the middle with the sausage spread around the outside perimeter of the ricotta cheese. And below the ricotta, as you can see, it looks like we're going to have some regular mozzarella. The crust of this pizza looks like it has a very nice nice char to it. And the other belly of the pizza is nicely golden brown. I think one of the best pizzas that I've had here at any of the festivals was that one year when they had the carne asada pizza. The boysenberry hot honey ricotta pizza was pretty good, man. Now I will say the base sauce right there that you can see, the tomato sauce was very robust. You did get that nice flavor on the basil from the ricotta. The ricotta cheese itself, it was really thick and it did have a little sharpness to it. Now the sausage really reminded me more of like a breakfast sausage link. But this, yeah, this pizza worked. Now, personally me, I did not get any spice from the hot honey itself. I got more of the sweetness of the honey. All the ingredients, all in all, work together. Now, I can recommend you trying it if you like pizza, but is this one of the best dishes here? No. 
Would I use another casing to get this pizza? No, because there's a lot of other great items on that tasting. But I mean, it, it, it's good. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a solid five out of 10. Outside of food, there's a lot of things for families to do here. Like right in front of me, they have the Boysenberry Festival Fun and Games. To the left of me is gonna be the directory. So they have Cordelia's Chicken Challenge at 11.30, who knows not to 12. Got a Boysenberry Balloon Buster at 2, and we're gonna get in on the Grandma's Pajamas at 3 p.m. Outside of these games, they also have some entertainment, plus they have a pie eating contest. It's never a dull moment here at the Boysenberry Festival. Now, if you are interested in playing these games, something to keep in mind is they actually do raffles. So you put your name in a raffle and they'll pull your name if you do win. Now, the kids didn't win this raffle, so I didn't want to film other people's kids, but we will definitely come back to try to get on some of those games so you can see what the games are all about. But, you know what? They have a pie eating contest and we're gonna enter that raffle and see if one of us can get into it. Now, if you are here at the Boysenberry Festival and are interested in competing in the pie eating contest, you're gonna wanna go right here where this stand is. Right behind me, they're gonna have the waivers and the ticket that you're gonna sign. Now keep in mind, dude, everybody is gonna have a chance because they're gonna pick names at random. So fingers crossed, guys, fingers crossed. Number two. Brody! Brody! Yeah! 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 Three, two, two one! Yeah! Yeah! Brody! 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 Yeah! You guys are doing good! Please! <laughs> Cleaned up? Or do you want to show grandma first? I want to show my grandma. Okay. That was awesome that Brody got picked and he did an excellent a job. Now let's go to the general merchandise store right behind me and to check out some more boysenberry merchandise. So let's get inside the general merchandise store. Now some of these items we've already seen, some of them I haven't seen, like this uh, bursting with boysenberry goodness in every delicious bite. Now you can get this shirt right here for $24.99, which isn't bad. And this is the first time that I'm seizing this boysenberry plushie. I'll, oh, it's reversible, look. You could even like fold them open, he's gonna be a little pie. 
So it's going to be $5.99. So one side is going to be the boysenberry, and the other side is going to be the pie. Now, we've seen the shot glasses and some of these cups. Haven't seen this hat, though. I think my mom might like that hat. It's $44.99. And check it out. They also have this beanie up here. I might have to snag this beanie. The beanie's $29.99, and I don't have... Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Look who I found! It's David! Uh, What's up, brother? What's up? So, David, I'm interested in knowing what you tried and uh, what foods you recommend people trying at this year's Boysenberry Festival. All right, so I actually tried the uh, barba, 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 barbacoa. Dude, that was incredible. I loved it. Now, they have another one, the Silver, Bo Silver Bullet Booth. Now, that one is the beef and chorizo. It tastes good. The mashers and the chorizo don't really mash up ah, with, together, but they really don't. <laughs> they taste really good. Guys got to go out and scope it out. Uh, I would say at the most part, they did a fantastic job with this meal. With this meal, every bit of it is it's so incredible. The only thing, I, okay, the only thing I would say would be a setback would be the hoagie sandwich. The hoagie sandwich Not for real. please. You got to not have any more sauerkraut with that hoagie sandwich. But oh. everything else was great so far. <laughs> and here's some other boysenberry items that they have at the general merchandise store. They have this sweater that we did see earlier. We've seen the boysenberry love pearl. We've seen this cup. Check it out. They got this California pie jam license plate. They have some boysenberry soap here. And I don't really know what, it's a scarf, okay? It's a scarf. It's a not berry farm scarf. Hi, Eva. It's Eva and Titi Ruxpin. <laughs> Here's this boysenberry shirt that we see of the boysenberry pie. It's a little bit of raised and it does have some glitter for $24.99. We've seen the throw, we've seen the berry stand, and we've seen the purse. Now here's some more boysenberry stuff, but not at, pertaining to this year's boysenberry, it's just boysenberry stuff. So we have some cookie cutouts of Rufus, a boysenberry, and a train. You got a tote bag, you have a tea towel, we have a pot holder and an apron. Over here, we have some other stuff. You know, we've seen, seen the scarves, we've seen the umbrella, and the pillow. But over here, you can find some stuff also. Check this out. Now, we haven't seen this one yet, but it's a Knott's Berry Farm boysenberry glass. You can grab your own boysenberries in light syrup. This, this is what we've been looking for, guys. The boysenberry no-bake cheesecake. Well, we can't get it on the tasting card, but they do have it here if you would like to pick it up. And here's another new item. It's a boysenberry muffin mix. What? And they have this one too. It's a blondie boysenberry mix. No, not just a, it's just a blondie brownie. We're back here at the gold miners booth because we're going to try to get the very elusive boysenberry layered no-bake cheesecake cup that has been dodging us for the last couple of days. <laughs> For the last two days, this no-bake cheesecake has eluded us. But not today, folks. We get to close this video out on a very good note. Now let's see if this cheesecake is that good. So as you can see, this cheesecake is layered up. At the very top, you're gonna have your crumbles followed by your traditional cheesecake or boysenberry cheesecake. And then it looks like right in the middle, we're gonna have like a boysenberry jam kind of thing in the middle. And as you can see, it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. But Californians would call this a downpour. <laughs> I have Sophia helping me here hold it. So let's get in, get some of the cheesecake, some of the crumbles. See what this baby's all about. Hi, you. Get back here. This no-bake cheesecake is on point. The cheesecake itself is nice and fluffy. A lot of boysenberry flavor in there. Plus you get the nice crumbles on top. Now I see why this has been eluding us for this long because this item is that good. Kid, you gotta try this cheesecake. No bake cheesecake. Oh, there we go, see? Everybody's taking off the cheesecake. The no bake cheesecake was really good. When you first get into it, you get the graham cracker and then you get the boysenberry, but then you also get the whipped cream. So I would give this a solid 10 out of 10. When I buy into this, it was boysenberry, and I give it a nine out of 10. 
I concur that with the kids. This is a solid choice here at the Boysenberry Festival if you do have a tasting card. I'm gonna go ahead and give this no-bake cheesecake an easy eight out of 10. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. It's starting to sprinkle and my camera can't take this kind of weather. So I really appreciate every single one of you guys coming out. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and give it your like. If you didn't like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. If you wanna subscribe, you can subscribe. If you don't wanna subscribe, you don't have to. Cause I just make these videos for fun, man. For your guys' entertainment and I try to give you guys the best free quality content that I possibly can. Well, we appreciate every single one of you. And don't forget, go down below because I have all of David's links down below, dude. Great content creator. Love everything he does. So make sure to follow him. Well, you guys have a great day and we will catch you next video. Deuces. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah.